This one has to be three star from Tribe. I think if they hit another two star, it will be over. With the super hook, what the queen? <laughs> no! Yeah, 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 yeah. Where are you going? Welcome everyone, you are watching Golden Heart Cup, it is much from the lower bracket, these teams are one step away from the Grana final and it is a knockout match between two amazing teams, Ask Esport versus Try Gaming and as well we are using the uh, player camera so you can watch your favorite attacker in the action, Paul is kicking off here for uh, Esk and it will be Electro Titan Smash. So he used the lighting spells, he was able to clear the X-Ball, multi Inferno. Now we are using the Warden Walk, also checking with the Hawk, just in case if there are any traps. Pulling a lot of skellies. So we will be pulling the water any second. Yep, the flame flinger should be safe and we should be able to clear the multi inferno with it. Right, Warden joining nicely the Queen and of course the Electro Titans should go inside this compartment and with the jump spell we will be leading the kill squad to go towards the town hall. Skelly spell already being dropped trying to distract them. Monolid and also this uh, scatter shot here and this is very uh, interesting because this base that corner of the base is seriously scary like we have the town hall we have the scatter shot there x ball like a lot of uh, the, uh, buildings which are doing a lot of damage electro titans took the jump they are reaching now the monolith pretty soon wooden ability protecting the everything here uh, I think so we have still queen up yes we do she is now uh, moving slowly towards the town hall Still one scatter shot up. Queen got a ball distracted by the enemy royal champion. She got it. Okay, second scatter shot being clear. Now his flame finger broke. So we have uh, a Titan and uh, a Yeti coming out. And uh, Yeti mines definitely can grab some of these Teslas. Uh, as you can see, the Queen and Electro Titan split here. So he was staying on the Electro Titan. That's forcing the Queen to use the ability here. The Titan was able to clear the Town Hall, but we will be losing the Queen any second here. Royal Champion is now in the range of the X Bow. And as you can see, there is also the Raid Spell Tower, which got activated. So the RC will be taking a lot of damage, but we have Diggy or had the Diggy for a few seconds. RC still has shield, Yeti Mines are even sniping the visitor but there's not that many defenses time is still looking good like he has also a lot of cleanup troops i see with the shell definitely can snipe some of the defenses i believe he is fine maybe yeah boom 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 with the shield 20 seconds only the issue could be this storage 14 seconds left RC going for that storage, we have Archer and the Minion, 7 seconds for 2 buildings, poor Goblin behind, it is Staffel, isn't it? <gasps> it is 99.9999999, I thought this, was, this storage is going to be a problem, but at the end was this storage. Sadly, very nice shy from Paul, but we are hitting town file 99%. Very, very nice shy from him. A Nebrask in with the E Dragon, so we know him very well as the E Dragon attacker uh, right now, I can say. And we will be using a few bullets. I think so, he was able to snipe the air defense. So, first air defense going down. Now we are using one of the E Dragons setting up the funnel for the rest of his group. He will be catching the Blim and the Wooden ability here. Heroes being used at the 6 o'clock. Alright, so big group of the loons. Still tanking nicely in front of the uh, dragons, but almost all his dragons are in front of the town hall. So we have like only two E dragons, where are these infernos? He was able to take down one, town hall being clear, freezing the multi inferno in the middle compartment there. Okay, some of the dragons go, uh, crossing the poison, there is also the tornado trap. The ego will be staying up for a while. So he has two freeze. He can even use the poison. I don't know if he's gonna be using poison on the queen or maybe saving on the enemy king. 
But yeah, we snipe the enemy king easily. Some of the skellies, like time is still really good. Like the e dragon attacks usually are very fast, so that's kind of giving, uh, leaving you uh, with a lot of uh, time left for your heroes to finish the rest of the base. I really like that free spell there. Like getting, uh, okay, we missed the eagle this time, but that first free spell was seriously OP. As they still have shield. Yeah, definitely saving poison on the king. As even with the shield now. Oh no. Mo many of these heroes are so low health. Enemy king is huge issue, even with the poison. He will fall short and will be a defense here. Nice try. And after first attack, we will have actually ask eSport here with the percentage rate, because don't forget that one was 99.99999% from them. Uh, Nebras will be hitting a really good uh, percent here, but sadly it will be less percent here. Steven? I don't know if I'm reading that name correctly. Is in. And it will be Electro Titan Smash. So again, we are zapping the Xbo Multi Inferno. Wood involved in the action. Flame Flinger. So the Flame Flinger will be going for this Multi Inferno, I would say so. And we're just waiting for the Warden to be full. And right now, the Mortal hitting the Warden is exactly what you want. Is it the same base? Is it? I don't know. But are you telling me that it's like kind of rotate? Alright, Titan's coming in. What a nicely following. Queen is in as well. So Jack. Yeah, you are right. It is like the corner. Huh. So it totally makes sense why they are coming with the same way how they were trying to attack that first base. Because they hit 99% town folder. And it is just base which they rotate. You are right. Okay, Flame Flinger still has some HP left, but not for the long time. Now we are really curious how fast we can clear the town hall because we still have titans, queen and warden kind of far away. Uh, in that first of their attack, if you remember, queen and titans kind of split. Looks like this is happening again, but in this situation this is much much better because we already cleared a really big part of the base there. Royal champion will be perfect here because the expo uh, being uh, locked on the yeti, now the diggy arrives stunning the expo, so the RC and the diggy not taking that much damage as on the previous of their hit. RC now taking down the multi inferno, royal champion still has ability and 40 seconds i'm sure it is more than enough for uh, them to hit a triple so there's gonna be first three star and they will have the percentage lead here because their first attack was 99 percent uh town fell on probably exactly same base so nicely done from him op Yeah, same, uh, looks like same base, just kind of like rotate. You guys were talking about that we only know probably area with this uh, scenery, but he's not the only one. Okay, this scenery, I, uh, it's just looking such amazing, doesn't it? Like the base, like all the arena looks like so big and the base looking like smaller on that one. But let's focus on attack which is coming from Try Gaming. Rigerez is in here with the donut. Uh, can he get that multi? No. He still got some value. Uh, you can see that we cleared the clan castle and the multi inferno, uh, but sadly we didn't get a uh, second one.
So Hero Dive will be trying to clear uh, the Town Hall. Maybe the Queen will go for the scatter shot and Enemy Queen. But you saw the ball break, it got snipe. No, we just opened this corner here. Alright, Queen using the ability. She's clearing the scatter shot, taking out the enemy queen as well. No, the enemy queen uh, surviving the low HP. At the end, King was able to take down the town hall, but he wanted this multi inferno. Like right now, when he's gonna be coming in here with the Lalo, then multi inferno gonna be complication there. Modern ability. And so Eagle was targeting the loons as well. Using the battle drill on this x -Bose. Royal champion with the uh, battle drill. Now very nice freeze over the last multi inferno. Red spell tower got activated, so boosting this x -Bose. Loons are also taking a lot of damage. Now the tornado trap blows the red bows. I don't think so, it's gonna work. There's just so many traps slowing down this uh, loons. Dragon Rider on the multi inferno, but his loons at the 12 o'clock are almost all gone. Very nice try from Rigires, but we have a uh, second defense here. Nice try, nice try from Tribe. It will be a decent pass and two star, but sadly no triple. And if you are joining, uh, this one is a knockout match, it is single elimination match. Uh, they are only one step from the grand final. We already know that United Gaming GS is waiting there. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I apologize. I don't know their players just from the face, so I'm a little bit slower with these player cameras. Avenger is live here with the E-Dragon hit. We will be Queen charging. We already have Flame Flinger. And a queen charge. Juicy as good person hit like thank you, good night. <laughs> thank you very much, Esther, again for that support. Thank you, thank you. That's very nice from you. Alright, so we are not recalling the queen. Uh, like he is using the queen to clear all this right side of the base. Sally had to use the queen ability here as he was fighting the enemy queen. Now that queen is reaching the multi inferno, flame flinger still is on the air defense, and I think it's time for the dragons. Nice job with the skelly spell distracting the mono. I think we pull some seeking air mines here. We will see how we will do with the e dragons. They have to go through the town hall. Town hall is activated, so using the freeze. Also pulling the enemy clan castle troops that are going for the queen here. All right. I'm not sure if you're getting value of the poison. Down hole went down. Luckily, these, uh, these e dragons are not being freezed by the ice golem, so that's all awesome. We decide to freeze the scatter shot at the back, where it's also the raid spell tower. That was good, Super Bowl Worker. Giving the Queen access for the scatter shot. Very nice job. We still have Royal Champion here. E Dragon and the Phoenix finishing the multi inferno. Icy going straight to the Eagle. Queen is now on the wall, but he's sending the Bowl Worker to help her. Icy being slowed down by the Skellies. He has 55 seconds left. Fan is still tanking most of the defenses at the 9 o'clock corner. Queen taking out the enemy warden. RC and the diggy. R front of the scatter shot. He got it. We have 45 seconds left. We still have Royal Champion with the shield. And the freeze to spare as well. Boom, boom, boom with the shield. 35 seconds more than enough. And they're adding another 3 star. This is the second triple. Try gaming are in the trouble right now. He could swag the RC. No, that would be an issue with the time. I think if he tried to swag the RC, I think so that would be time fail. It's not over yet. Uh, this one has to be 3 star from Tribe. I think if they hit another 2 star, it will be over. Exorcist. It will be Queen Charge Lalo. Alright, so immediately fighting with the enemy queen. Queen looking still safe. 
Now we are even deploying the flame flinger. I think so this will be quite a long queen charge. I think so we will be planning to get the queen to go towards the town hall. Super Woolbreaker opening the frozen layer of the wall so that way she is uh, patting this way as the king is funneling. Nice, screen is on the scatter shot. Triggering some of the skellies. This is his final super wall breaker. Perfecto. Very nicely done. Now we are pulling the CC troops. So freezing the super minions. Using them one more time, trying to get rid of this defenses so he can handle the super minions. Flame Flinger is targeting the multi inferno. Queen is now moving. Oh my goodness, that queen, 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 queen. Tornado trap, envies. Oh my eagle is still on the queen as well. Okay, freezing. Yeah, there is also enemy warden. All right, he was able to take down the town hall. Now using the queen ability to still try to keep her alive in that uh, in that compartment here. He just took some hits, but they're still up. He is now wallowing from the opposite side. There's still three, oh sorry, two enemy super minions. And because the queen didn't take care of them, the super minions probably will be chasing his wounds. I see he's far away from them. Oh no, the super minions will be MVP. I see with the shield, sniping most of the defenses at the 12 o'clock. Electro Avo and even his cleanup taking care of these super minions. Nice, nice, nice. Queen is now on the X Bow. 55 seconds left, and I already can see it. His reaction, he is celebrating that he will be hitting the three star. Yeah, he got split, but he has plenty of cleanup here. So they will be clearing these uh, buildings, and the Royal Champion plus the Queen is still alive as well. So Tribe needed this triple, and they are hitting this three star. And actually, this triple is keeping them in this match because right now after three attacks we have ask esport with the eight stars and try gaming with the seven stars we still have four hits to go he has actually such a op background that hammer can you see it is that lego all right sorry so battle cookie is in Trying to go here uh, with the donut. He made one, uh, Inferno invisible one time, but it's not issue. This is beautiful donut from him. Like guys, two multi Infernos clan castle being clear. Very nice uh, star from Battle Cookie. Like you can see that S Esport is holding one star lead here against Try Gaming. We have freeze on that enemy scatter shot. And he coming in here with the big kill squad. So he investing two ice golems and the golem. So the queen goal is uh, to clear the town hall because we will be coming in here with the ground strategy. We have hoggies. Uh, queen, please be smart and go in. She does. But they even triggered tornado trap, that's actually awesome. Down all went down, nicely done. Skelly spell distracting the mono. And it is time for the hoggies. Alright, Skelly spell still doing great job. Wooden ability. I think so they will be kind of splitting into a few groups. As we still have these X bows and we have scattershot on the right side. Good thing is that Royal Champion is more on the right side, so she should be patting that way. But the drill going for the eagle. Uh, already seeing a lot of riders. That means not many hoggies left. He is using the invis on the Royal Champion that's letting her to finish the enemy RC. Still gonna have some troops coming out from the battle drill. RC doesn't have shield. I don't know, it feels that uh, there's gonna be a lot of base left. This feels like it's gonna be defense and actually it would be possibility for Tri Gaming to tie on the stars here. 
if they hit a triple because he has only warden yetis and a moon yet is going around the base Diggy with the wood and gonna clear a little bit, but you will fall short. It will be a good person. I think so they still can get like few more buildings here, but we have defense for tribe gaming and that's mean doors are open for tribe now. We can tie on the stars. We have another or second fail here from Ask Esport. That's opening the door for tribe gaming. If tribe can hit a triple. But to say if Kronos can hit a three star, they will tie on the stars. But as kids for still will be holding here percentage lead. Flame Flinger is already in the action. We are queen charging here so that queen will be able to reach the scatter shot. And we will have another uh, attack with the super hook. What the queen? <laughs> no! Yeah, 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 yeah. Where are you going? Oh, Ripperoni, Macaroni, that queen is walking. And he has to change the plan. Oh, single inferno now log on the queen costing him a free spell. He's trying to push the queen go towards the single inferno. Can now Kronos recover and still being able to hit a triple. And because the queen going this way, he's not getting the value with the flame flinger because flame flinger is right now just keep moving behind the queen. One healer being uh, hit by the Seeking Air Mine. I don't know. Can he push her to go for the Town Hall? That Queen is such a stubborn. Sh oh my, she's coming in. Okay. Rage on her. We pull some of the troops, but only a few arches went out. Now he's starting with the Hoggies. He's sending the Super Wall Breaker, so he's opening these layers of the walls. I think he got only one Super Wall Breaker in. He's deploying the another one. Wooden ability protecting most of the Hogs. Royal Champion is there as well. Second Super Wall Breaker nicely done. That way the Queen can go for the Town Hall, but she is right now still being busy with the troops here. More than RC Diggy, everyone is targeting the town hall. If, if he still can clear this, this will be insane a recovery. That monolith is scary. Oh no, RC going through the poison. The royal champion not able to clear the monolith. And now the healer is being hit by the scatter shot. We have 25 seconds. I want to be honest with you, it is still amazing recovery by Kronos. Like, he's uh, hitting a decent uh, two star, you know. Uh, sadly, they need a triple. They need a triple to be able to tie on the stars and kind of put the pressure on the SK sport. Uh, I don't know, I think he... I don't know what else he could do different there, you know? Like, I think it was a really good recovery and being able to hit at 81%. Well, he's getting to the zone, you know? Final attack for SK sport. I'm saying 77 percent, that's what I need. Alright, that's uh, not that high percent to start. Spam, this is not spam, this is, this is not spam at all. So, Plank Castle and Inferno being clear. Flame Flinger will be able to clear the scatter shot and Let's see. We'll be coming in here with the Hoggies. We will have Golem tanking for the Queen also. Oh, we are trying. He's trying to reset the Monolith, so he's uh, targeting the Skellies and not the Queen. Alright, that Golem is staying outside of the base, but he's still uh, distracting the X-Bow. <laughs> All the second where the Queen will go. Okay, she's going in. He's using the freeze over the mono. Yeti came out from the flame flinger. Yeti might still can reach the scatter shot, so that's all good. And Golem is on vacation. Queen with the ability taking down the town hall. Now the Golem activating the poison. Alright. It is time for the Hoggies. Still two bomb towers. We have two multi-infernos, raid spell tower there as well. 
Warden ability protecting all these hoggies. They split into the two groups. Smaller groups actually went for these infernos. They were only able to clear the X-Bow. The rest of the hoggies are staying outside of the base where they are fighting the... Uh, this defense is enemy king is there. We are on 58%. Okay, with the hogs, I keep saying, if something going wrong, it's usually a low percent. And 77, it still feels far away. I don't know. Because I think we can agree this is not triple. Question is, can we hit the 77 percent? I think we will fall short. It feels like a 77 percent to start the goal. Is not possible. We are on 70. We have 25 seconds. Deploying a bunch of wizard and the minions, trying to get some extra buildings, but there's no way. 73, 74. Warden on the multi. Yeah, it's so close. <laughs> Seriously, so so close. I think. <gasps> Oh, he actually... No way. If he did a cleanup... I don't know if I... Dare to say, like, look at this. If the cleanup was... Like, this one was be, will be 76. This is insane close match. Again, it is single elimination match. One match from the grand final where we have United Gaming GS waiting. Yo-Yo Heat right now will be deciding everything. Everything in his, his hands. They need to hit a triple. Anything less than triple, it will be victory for Esk. Yo-Yo coming in here with the hoggies. Will be Queen charging. Already have Queen near to the town hall. Uh, we are pulling the CC troops. Poison ready for the archers. Okay, checking as well with the Cocolon. Pulling this uh, a lot of air traps. Enemy real champion going down. Nice, nice, nice. So far, so good. Queen still dealing with some of the skellies. He's starting with the hoggies. So the queen should go towards the town hall. What an ability. Okay, healer surviving. Very nice freeze. There's still Skelly spell. But Monolith looks like it's hitting sometimes Skelly, sometimes Hawk. Now the multi inferno with the X bow doing a lot of damage here. Having still Queen with the ability is OP. Like she's still gonna help a lot. He already deploying a bunch of headhunters to get rid of the enemy king. But uh, somehow we kind of ignore that multi inferno. Royal champion should go back. She already used the shield. One minute left. RC. Oh yeah, yeah, it's Skellies. Skellies, we are losing the royal champion. He's down to the queen. The time. Oh, uh, 45 seconds. I see only the riders, Diggy. I don't know. I would say this is time issue. You are calling this is GG. The Phoenix did some uh, damage on the multi inferno. No way, he has not enough time. Like the queen has to go through the uh, walls. Yeah, he's down failing. He is down failing. He needed the royal champion. I'll kind of go this way. But everything went around that multi inferno and the expo. If the RC went this way, it is three star. It is down fell. Wow. What close hit. Very nice try from Yo-Yo. But we are hitting the TOEFL. 98% 2 star. That's me. Congratulations to Esk Esport. They are taking the W against Try Gaming. It is single elimination match. That's mean Try Gaming is out of the tournament. And Esk Esport is... 
advancing to the grand final where they will be facing a United Gaming GS. Exciting, exciting. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand.